I've basically been brought up like this. My mum was very creative, very hands-on. We're always playing in very creative ways when I was little. There was never any question as to what side of things I was gonna do. I was always gonna have an art path. I was based at Islington Mill for about 10 years. After I graduated, uh, I moved into the mill and had various shared studios of people. And now I've moved into a different environment, which is more fabrication based. But again, it's having a community around you who supports and uplifts you and can help you with your work, help you with your ideas. I think there's lots of different types of communities and I've gone from one to another, but there's still a lot of support there. I've been lucky with who I've surrounded myself with here, where women are encouraged to come in and use equipment and are actually uplifted. Uh, I was initially very scared to use the machines, but Rory has welcomed me in here and taught me how to use things safely. I think a lot of my experimental materials came from having an art background, a fine art background, and then being in a very strange performance collective. As time has gone by, I have had commercial clients help me apply my skills. I'd say that I get a lot of my inspiration from actually working with materials themselves. Obviously, I have specific things that I like looking at, the colours and shapes and Actually, a lot about the movement of a material is what inspires me to work with it. It's a lot about multiple components as well, and the way things all move together and or fit together, even if they're individual pieces. I've noticed that actually I'm almost creating a body of work where they all fit together. Um, and my textiles and my, my glitter walls are all made of like a million pieces that all fit together. I've made my job my escapism. I've, I've carved this strange job, this strange career for myself. I'm Marielle Osborne and I'm a prop maker.